Hello, this is Lolly. I just did a video recently in which I showed you how to use PNG images online in a Silhouette Design Studio. Um, but then I realized that they had just updated their software like that day or the day before. So your, what you would see on your computer is not what I had shown on mine. You want to come to silhouetteamerica.com slash software and go to Silhouette Studio Basic Edition, select Mac or Windows, and then click Download. It's very easy and it will guide you through the process. Just keep selecting Yes, Yes, and Next. Um, if you have difficulty installing that, I will not be able to help you because I don't know what's going on with your computer. Uh, once you've got it installed, you can go get images. Like if you go to my website, lollipalooza.net, then you can go to my blog. And now and then I have free images like this one, the bunny freebie. I'm going to select that as an example. Scroll down to the bunny and click the bunny. Okay. Now the SVG we may talk about at a later time. PNG is a image that's sort of like a photograph, just like a JPEG. And I'm going to click over here and select download. And the reason that it's better to use the Cameo, the Silhouette Studio software, as opposed to just printing it on your printer, is that your printer is only going to pre-select some sizes and you can't adjust the exact size you want. So now that I've got it, I'm going to select the PNG. Now on mine, I have Windows 10, so mine, the picture shows up immediately. It might not on yours, but you need to know how to save files on your computer. I'm going to right click and say copy, come over here and, and click on my desktop and say paste. And you can see I've already got one bunny saved up there. Okay, and I'm going to all, or excuse me, I'm going to open up my Silhouette software. Looks like I must have closed it last time. It's loading now. It's a very pretty design here. And um, while that's uploading, I'll tell you. Um, so the purpose of this uh, tutorial is that if you do not have a cameo to do the cutting, you can still use these images and hand cut them. So um, those of you who have a Cameo and are wanting to know how to get started, it's the same thing as what we're talking about called print and cut images. And um, where you print out a picture and then you then you send it to the Cameo and the Cameo will at that point uh, cut it out for you. Now usually when you open your software for the first time, what you will see, and I'm going to move this over, you will not see this. What you will see will look more like this a 12 inch piece of paper oops no 12 there we go 12 and it will have grid lines on this so this is what it will look like when you open it what you will want is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper so you click this paper adjustment here and under that select 8.5 on the width tab over and select 11 for the height if you don't want the grid, you can select the grid and, and do it right there. Um, some people, it helps them when they're designing. Okay, so let's go grab this image and pull it over here. Now I'm going to zoom in with this plus sign so you can see what I'm doing. On this bunny, it gives you the width and the height of the image. And I want to show you that it's got a white box around it. I don't want that there because if I try to get two bunnies close together, the white box from around one bunny will cover up this I'll show you. Let's right click and say duplicate. Now I've got two bunnies, but the white box is covering up that poor bunny. So I'm going to move that off, right click and delete. Now on this one, I'm going to come over here where, where did it go? Here it is right here. This is the trace panel. Any of these buttons, you don't know what they are, just hover over them with your mouse and it will tell you what it is. Open the trace panel, select the trace area, click here and then hold the button down while you're dragging. Now you'll notice there's some yellow dots here. I want the entire outline of the bunny in yellow. So I'm going to go to this threshold and keep moving that bar over until I see that a nice solid yellow line around him or her. And then select trace and detach. Now that that's done, I'm going to grab the white thing and pull it off and right click it and delete it. That's easy. So now that we know the width of this, this is the beauty of having this software. Instead of using the um, just a regular printer to print photos, let's say I wanted this bunny bigger. I when, now that it's highlighted, I can grab one of these corner corners and just pull it out like this and make it a little larger. If I want it really large, though, 
you notice this yellow button over here it says low resolution this is just a photo and so the larger I make it the more unclear it is the more fuzzy it is but what if I needed an exact size like I know I have a project and I need this bunny to be mm, 1.75 inches wide so I can go to this button over here which is the transform this is alignment this is scale I can increase the scale by a percentage like this or I can decrease it or I can choose the exact width that I want but before I do that I'm going to select the lock because if I don't and I select 1.75 on the width and then tab over and apply the height would stay exactly what it was but the width would change making my bunny not the same shape that it used to be so I've applied that and you can see the shape of the bunny now it's a really good size but what if I want a whole page of these I'm going to select it go to object scroll down to replicate and scroll down to fill page and it automatically selects I'm going to get rid of this panel here it automatically recognizes that if it turns and rotates the bunny to the right that would fit more bunnies in here let's say let's save this bunny before we do get too far file save as and save to library it would save it in user designs and I would just automatically give it a title or you can right click on user designs and set up some um, folders underneath that like I have and then you can save it in one of your folders so you want to give it a name and select OK I'm selecting cancel right now if I make changes to this now let's say I made the bunny smaller or, and fit more bunnies per the page and I want I want both of those files to be saved then I would say save as again and, it, and then I can rename the next file if I change this and I don't want to keep the first file I just want to keep this one I would just say save and it overwrites the last one okay let me move this over so once you have printed this and sent it to the printer I guess I didn't show you that yet did I just move those over file that's still not over far enough I have to move this screen over there we go file print now you want on your preferences to select under paper thick plain paper for cardstock and change normal print quality to best select OK make sure it's going to your printer and your printer is connected and then select print after you choose how many copies and then you will need to be able to hand cut these images okay however if you do have a cameo to cut these for you you can highlight this page come over here to send and then you select your material that you're going to cut it on the action would be to cut the edge now you see what it does it cuts only around the bunny okay however one thing you would need to do before doing this let me go back here and back to the design at the top here and that is um, if you have a cameo you can't actually fill your entire page full of images so let's move a few of these off and I'll show what I'm talking about I'm going to delete these maybe even delete those okay and I'll show you why when you want to print this and send it to the cameo you need marks on the outside of this page and that they're called registration marks and those show the cameo where to um, make the cut marks so if we do this page setup and we've got to find there word here it is right here this is the registration marks it's off right now but I select it and select cameo now you see these hash marks here and the red lines anything that I cut print has to be within all those borders so we can either play around with this and try to move them around so they're not touching each other not touching the hash marks and get as many as we can on there and you can flip them around to get them to fit and again this is only for cameo users and I'm not sure if we could fit another one in here or not but let's look let's click a bunny and then right click and say duplicate pull him away and now let's flip him vertically by selecting ob oops object rotate uh, by 90 degrees counterclockwise will that bunny fit not really not well just for sake of time let's delete him okay so we have all these bunnies here so if we have a cameo this is the way we're going to print 
it will not print the hash marks, but it will print this, this box and this black line and this black line. Then when you are done printing, do not move any of this around. You want to send this cut mat, this is the mat here, send it into your machine with the arrow facing that way and your cardstock lined up in that top corner. But to make sure it's going to cut properly, let's go over here. I'm going to highlight this and go to send and then select the cardstock, select the action is cut edge, and then you say send to Cameo. And at that point, you will have to make sure your Cameo is connected. Mine is not, so it's not showing it's connected, but that's what it would look like for you to do that. So, and there's also this, uh, there's a lot of other buttons here, so much to learn, but right now I just wanted to show you the basics of this, mostly for those of you who don't even have a Cameo, but I thought if you did and you didn't know how to do a print and cut, that's how to do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and we will cover another aspect next time.